Uh, ja, we zijn hier bij Ashoka. En uh, misschien uh, weten jullie het niet, maar wel, ik had hier ook uh, mijn livestream gedaan. Dus uh, misschien weten jullie nu wel een beetje waar we zitten. En uh, we, zijn, uh, we doen nu een interview met de baas van Ashoka. En uh, misschien wilt u jezelf wel even voorstellen. Hi, uh, welcome to Ashoka. Uh, my name is Taneshwar Kandel. I'm from Nepal. And uh, it's uh, nice to have uh, Daran and the, his father, uh, friend. Kind of like close family now. Ashoka is geopend in 2013. And um, uh, hadden jullie ook al een restaurant in Nepal? Uh, not really. In the restaurant, uh, this is the first uh, restaurant experience. I had like a different kind of uh, involvement in Nepal. I was more like educator there in Nepal. But uh, later when I came here to study, after I finished my study, uh, I just wanted to do something new here and then I found like this is something missing so I started restaurant there. And uh, dus da daardoor ben je ook in uh, Amsterdam terecht gekomen. Yes. And um maar uh, ik heb uh, ik had ook eens een keer gehoord dat uh, dat u meerdere restaurant hebben uh, heeft. Ho hoeveel verschillende restaurants heeft u eigenlijk? Uh, at this moment we have four restaurants in Amsterdam, uh, different kitchens. Let's say they are all about let's say Nepalese, Indian, and then Tibetan kitchens, like more like South, uh, South Asian cuisine. The first restaurant that uh, was opened in 2013, what I just said even zei. But how began it actually? Because I think that ook veel veel uh, Nederlanders ook niet echt misschien uh, Nepalese eten kenden. Moeten jullie dat ook veel uitleggen? Uh, yes, because uh, there were uh, lovers of Nepalese food. Because many Dutch people, they love Nepal and they travel to Nepal. And when they come back from, ne well, let's say, from Nepal to Netherlands, they don't find the like, no, right place to recall their memories of Nepal, you know. And then also Nepalese and Indian, uh, let's say, culturally and they like, you know, food-wise, like cuisine-wise, like quite similar. Of course, there are some differences. So Indian food was already popular here, but not Nepalese. But the people were also looking for some quality Indian food. They were missing here, so we wanted to, you know, like bring the like you know, quality Indian food and the Nepalese food together. Okay, and who who uh, is it come? Want uh, daarna kwam uh, een tweede een tweede uh, restaurant. Hoe is dat eigenlijk gekomen? Uh, because in the beginning, when we start in 2013, it was it was a tough time. The restaurant was not moving as we expected, but in 2000. 15 and 16, it was a very big success and people were literally, they had to wait for the tables in queue and they were like demanding, hey, why not to have more places, more locations? And we wanted to have, let's say, several locations throughout the Netherlands in the major cities like Dena, Rotterdam. But before we moved to those cities, we wanted to test in Amsterdam as a second location. How does it go? In the recipe-wise, in the test-wise, in the service-wise, everything. If we can replicate the same quality, then we could go to the other places. If it is not, then we need to improve it, you know. It's like a test location. The second location is like a test for the, like, you know, franchise. This is, uh, somehow it's going, so we are learning many things and we are improving, so we think we can, we can do it. Nepalese food is so nice and so delicious, and also a very healthy food. So I want Nepalese food be in every city of the Netherlands, so people can enjoy.
komen eigenlijk al die chefs vandaan en worden ze, worden ze ook op een manier getraind? Ja, uh, yeah, all of our chefs, they come directly from uh, Nepal, but they were already working in Nepal and in India. So they have the experience from the Indian kitchen and Nepalese kitchen. En uh, wat is eigenlijk het verschil tussen Nepalese eten en Indiaans eten? Uh, in Indian kitchen, Indian foods are like more like professional, so it's uh, everybody knows where the Indian food is. Uh, and of course, spices are different, but Nepalese food is more like like you know, mummy makes for you. The food your mommy makes for you is like very nice, healthy food, homemade, homemade style. We use mostly in the Nepalese kitchen more hops. In Indian kitchen, we use more spices, you know. And then sometimes, you know, hops and spices, they marry each other. Sometimes they, they are different, you know. So it's basically the taste-wise and the spices, the ingredients are different. But the curry, you know, the curry is quite similar. And uh, what makes actually Ashoka so bizonder? Uh, because, let's say, the first things in the uh, Orica, let's say, hospitality business, is uh, the quality of the food and the service. Because you might make very nice food, you might have a very good chef, but as I said earlier, do you listen to your guest or no? Maybe they want in a different way. So we always listen to the guest. So we make everything as the guest want. And the hospitality, as we know, the Nepalese hospitality is the best throughout the world. So we want to bring the Nepalese hospitality here in Amsterdam. Ja, en nog even terug over het restaurant. Want um, eerst was het natuurlijk uh, nog wel best wel een klein restaurant. Ja. En had u dan ooit gedacht dat het zo groot ging worden eigenlijk? Want ik vind dit echt heel erg mooi. Uh... That's true because everything we start off like we don't start many things like in a big big so everything starts from the small one but they, as I said we when we started the small one that was the idea also in the beginning from the first step we wanted to do the trials and to do the, like some innovation some nice things like you know and then uh, and then we we wanted to expand it that was the idea and uh, in the beginning it was hard but later after two years we you know, we really met our like, you know, um, goals and then we wanted to expand it. But maybe not like this big, but like, you know, finally we got this one and then and we want to expand more. Huh? What is actually the speciality of the house? Uh, here, as you select, this is the mixed kitchen, uh, the Indian and the Nepalese one. We have the very nice tandoori items for the grill lovers. And we do also have like the courage Curry is also like, you know, the, from uh, Nepalese kitchen and the Indian kitchen and also like, you know, from the, like, you know, uh, very aromatic, very spicy, a very mild, very soft, you know, like food for your shawl. Also, we do have a like, you know, biryanis, which are like very popular for uh, Arab peoples and then like, even in India also. So here we have like all the best of the best Indian and Nepalese in the quality wise. You know, and then in the variety wise. Ik hou zelf ook gewoon van pittig eten. Hmm, Hoe zit het eigenlijk met de, met de pittigheid van het restaurant? Uh, because the spiciness comes from the spices and the chilies. The like in the combination of the both. It's not only the chili, because if you have only the like pittigheid, as you say, like the spiciness, it, if it comes only from the chilies, it doesn't taste good. But if you can um, mix it like in a proportion, the spices, the hops and the chilies, and then you have the like the you know, flavor, you have the aroma, you have you know everything. I wacht, uh, wacht eigenlijk de hele week hier op op deze dag om <laughs> gewoon weer lekker bij Ashoka te zijn. Toen ik net binnenkwam, toen er ook komen meteen gewoon het geur van het hele restaurant. Uh, in the beginning, we were looking for the listen name that itself speaks, and then like you no know, convincing, you know. 
and uh, we were thinking why we go out for dinner. We don't go out for dinner only for the food, right? We want to have so like, no, let's say going out. So we want to be happy, we want to make our people happy, bring, you know, something like, you know, happiness. So we were looking for, to give the same message. So Ashoka itself is a, like, you know, Sanskrit word, and that means uh, happiness. You have yourself kinderen. What do they think about how the father has a in Amsterdam a restaurant? Yeah, I think they are also very happy uh, and they are proud of what they are having. And they also, come sometime, they also support me here. They work here now, they are like you know, grown up, you know, 18 plus. So, and they enjoy working and they, I also get so many tips, nice tips and ideas and suggestions from them. They know what the young people want it, and they always bring a nice idea. Hey, why not to do that? Okay, why not to introduce this like you know, this kind of drinks, and why not to bring like food in you know, this way, you know, that way, like presentation wise, you know, uh, and then uh, plating wise, you know, and then they like you know, the taste wise. So it's nice, you know. And as I go to Nepal uh, and uh, betreff what eten, where should I go to? Uh, there are uh, very nice places in uh, Nepal as well. Uh, but when you are there, like, you know, everywhere, like, you see so many Nepalese uh, restaurants, nice places, neat places, you know. What do you think is the best way to eat, maybe Nepalese, but maybe also from another land? Yeah, what I find, like, my, because I am in the, like, you know, food business, and I would like to try all the nicest food, let's say, from uh, Indian food, Nepalese food, Mexican food, Thai food, you know, like, you know, uh, continental, we try, we, we, tr we try several. And, um, maar uh, wat zouden jullie zeggen als uh, iemand die helemaal geen Nepalese of Aziatisch eten kent? We listen to our guests first, what they like it. When they say I like uh, stick, and we, what kind of stick they like it, then we, we have similar food as I said, tandoori, like grill items. We recommend them. And some people say I like more uh, rice, and then we recommend them like biryani as they want it, mixing with let's say chicken or lamb or like you know, prawns or veggie or vegan as they want. Want uh, ik zou uh, vindalu zeggen. Vindalu is very nice food for the like spicy lovers, hot lovers. Huh? You are young but hot lovers. <laughs> so uh, in vindalu, it's like there's a two words. Alu at the end, like alu, it's like potatoes. It's always mixed with the potatoes, but the spices is like no very nice one. It's not super spicy only, but it's like more like no taste, spiciness with the taste. So you never feel like you know it's too much spicy. It's not you know bad for your health. It's very nice one, but maybe every day you cannot have it. But it's very nice one. It's very healthy. There are lots of hops. There are lots of spices and some chilies which makes the bindalu, you know, unique and spicy. Heb je misschien nog een boodschap voor mijn kijkers? Thank you uh, for watching our let's say, conversation. And I wish uh, everybody, when you are in Amsterdam, please visit us. We have very nice restaurants. And more than that, we have very nice, healthy, and then uh, nice food and nice hospitality. You will really find some difference in the restaurant business, what you are used to here in like different restaurants, maybe in like an Indian restaurants, maybe Nepalese restaurants, we are completely different because we listen to you and our goal is to make you happy, to offer you what you want. Thank you. And namaste. And I go to Ashoka, Amsterdam, Spuistraat, number three. And if you maybe far away, try to try as you far away from Amsterdam, try to try to Misschien, misschien is er wel zelf uh, een, ander, een ander restaurant in jouw buurt, dus uh, probeer die dan ook misschien als die lekker is. Maar uh, als je dichtbij uh, Ashoka bent, dan moet je natuurlijk naar Ashoka gaan. Want dat is echt goede kwaliteit, zou ik zeggen. En super lekker. Namaste. Namaste. En, um, want uh, we zijn nu al, al bijna bij de, uh, bij de 400 volgers en we zitten, st ik, ik, want uh, bijna die uh, hele, uh, hele week uh, kwamen er steeds meer volgers aan en die zitten te hangen bij 399. Dat kan je toch niet geloven en bij de 500 doen we een giveaway weer. Dus uh, ga snel volgen. <middels>